This is the Oculus Quest and it's going to launch in eight days on 21st May 2019. I'm in the lucky position to get this loner unit a couple of days earlier so I can thoroughly check it out for you guys and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know in order to make a decision should you buy it or not. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in the next couple of days leading to that big launch. And in this video, we're going to start with the following topics. We're going to talk about what this is. We're going to talk about the build quality. We're talking about the comfort and we're going to talk about the setup. And all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here. If you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss any of the videos that I'm going to do about the Oculus Quest and about all the other VR headsets that are out there. Yeah, so let's directly get into it. As you can tell, I am not at home in Dortmund, Germany. I'm actually on vacation in Portugal. And well, I got this loaner unit a couple of days before and I thought, you know what, I'm simply going to bring it to my holidays. Because actually this is like the perfect use case since this is wireless, this is self-contained, you don't need any computers or gaming consoles to use it. So yeah, why not? bring it to my holiday, why not check it out here and why not simply tell you directly from me to you what I think about this, telling you about my experiences with the Oculus Quest leading up to a launch and like answering the question to you guys, should you buy this? Is this something for you? Yes or no? And you know what? I'm actually going to spoil it for you right here in this first video of this video series. Yes! This is an amazing device. This is an amazing device that I can wholeheartedly recommend like I couldn't recommend any of the other headsets that I've shown you on this channel before. This is magic. This is incredible. And let me also make one thing super clear here. This is not a sponsored review. I don't do sponsored reviews at all here on MRTV. And this is a loaner unit, which means I'm going to send it back to Oculus. And I have my own Oculus Quest that I bought arriving on 21st of May, just like everyone else. And I don't get paid by Oculus. I have nothing to do with Oculus. They are not flying me around the world. Nothing. Zero. I have nothing to do with Oculus. I'm just in the lucky position to get, to get this loaner unit a few days early. This is just to let you know there's no funny business going on here with these uh, video with this video series. I am honestly excited about the Oculus Quest. Now with this out of the way, let's start. So what is this device? This is the new headset from Oculus. It costs $399. It is a self-contained device. It's a standalone VR headset, which means you do not need a gaming computer to run this. You do not need a gaming console. To, to hook it up to. You, don't know, you do, do not need a phone that you would slot in here like, like uh, the Gear VR series for example. No, nothing. This is self-contained. This is running on a Snapdragon uh, um, SoC. So everything that it needs to show, you to, to show the games or whatever you want to see in VR is in this device. It doesn't have any wires. It comes with two controllers and um, that's everything that you need. It has a battery, it can run for two and a half hours of this battery and you can connect, uh, yeah, you can recharge it obviously and you can also connect it to some uh, battery pack if you, if you simply want to keep on playing. So this is cool, completely self-contained. If you want to jump into VR and have, don't have anything that you needed before, gaming computer whatsoever, this is your device. But now let's start with the topic of this video. I want to talk about the build quality. I want to show you exactly what this device has. And um, I want to talk about the comfort and the setup. So let's have a look at the device. Here it is. So the design, it very much reminds us of the Oculus Rift 
with this kind of baseball setup right so you you would simply put it on like this and um, yeah that is how you would do it so in terms of how it's designed you have these straps here with velcro and you can simply like make it fit to your head and there's also like a spring just the same setup like the oculus rift however in my opinion it is way more comfortable than the rift because this is like a combination between rift and go because here the face padding the face padding is the same face padding that is being used with the with the oculus go so this is some soft cloth material and this whole thing here this whole thing you can take off and you could replace it with a third party solution or with with a spare face padding if you want so this is this is like really well done well done so a combination between oculus rift and oculus go which makes for a super comfortable experience i recently had also reviewed the hp reverb which also uses this kind of combination and it is a winning combination so yeah, that's for the face padding here at the moment i i have like this here to protect the device from the sun since you should absolutely not let the sun shine into the lenses but let me let me just uh, show you for one moment how the lenses look like so these are these are the lenses right so okay <laughs> back to production here so um as you could see there for one moment <laughs> the lenses are the same lenses that are being used in the oculus go and the oculus rift s let's keep on looking at the device here so here we have four cameras and and these four cameras are being used for the so-called inside out tracking the amazing thing is you don't have to set up base stations like you have to do with the oculus rift with the original oculus rift all the tracking is done by those four cameras and i'm going to do another video which just talks about the tracking so the great thing here is um, these four cameras they track where the device is in space so this works with six degrees of freedom so you don't can you cannot just only look up and down no you can like move like this you can duck and all these kind of things which is amazing also the four cameras will do the tracking of of the controllers here and this works just like its charm so that's why we have those four cameras here then on the side we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the same on the other side so probably two because they're probably going to there's going to be some accessories like headphone accessories and then each headphone will have its own connection here so this is probably why there are two then on the bottom of the device we have here the volume rocker and here very important a mechanic IPD adjustment this is amazing so why is it amazing because people with different kind of um, IPD interpopular distance can use this device so if you have like a huge IPD or if you have a very small IPD as compared to the general public you will still be able to use this device you will still be able oops something's falling down here <laughs> to set this up which is great and the Rift S does not have it but the oculus quest has it so so this is this is really good then here on this side you have uh, a usb-c connection to charge the device and also for the data transfer and on the other side you this is where you turn it on and here's also a little lcd led led to show you uh, the state of the device that's it that's it basically also we can have a little look at the controllers here the oculus touch controllers exactly the same like on the rift probably the only difference is here that the ring is upside and not like for the oculus rift where it's like downside yeah here is like a trigger grip button two buttons thumbstick 
and one menu. But I'm going to do a whole video just about the controllers and the tracking. Now let's talk about comfort. So I mentioned already, it's a super comfortable device, but I also must tell you that this is heavier than Rift um, since all the, yeah, the battery is here and uh, the Snapdragon, everything is inside. So this is a bit heavier than the Rift and it's, it's more front heavy than other headset that I've tried before. However, the great thing is that the strap mechanic and the, the nice fabric here, they completely make up for it. So in the end, it's a very great feeling to actually wear this and let me wear it right now at the pool. So, as you can tell, there is no wobbling. It's, it's very, very stable. And really comfortable. And I've just also answered a question that lots of people probably have. Can you use this with your, with your glasses on? Yes, you can. So let me show you these glasses. They are huge. These are the Bose AR glasses. And these are big glasses. And yeah, I had no problem using them just now. So yes, you can wear glasses. And actually, they, they also even give you some glasses spacer so that you won't that your glasses won't touch the lenses when you use them very very nice and uh, yes so comfort wise this is a winner this is a complete winner all right now i also would like to talk about the setup and the whole experience unboxing and so on i've done the unboxing in germany just like uh, like uh, 20 minutes before i had to leave for the train to the airport so i didn't make a video of this but there's lots of people who already made some unboxing videos so you can check those videos um, beautiful experience very nice the box looks great it's it's everything is very, very well done and from beginning from unboxing until end of setup it's a breeze it's the most polished experience in terms of VR headsets that you could think of like probably the only thing that comes close was the original Oculus Rift that was also very polished and it very much reminded me of that experience. Oh, and there's, there's something that I have to get right now. Yeah, shit is real here. <laughs> so, super incredible experience to set this up. Um, what was so what what really st um, what what was so striking in that experience? So yes, first of all, you get the Oculus app uh, um, to your phone, and uh, in the in the app, you you tell the app that you would like to uh, connect to your new device, and then it would simply tell you each and every single step. It is so well made that I know. Not only the geek can do it. I could give this device to my mom, to my wife, who are not so tech savvy, and they could set this up without a problem, and it would feel like a breeze. At one moment, then, you have to put this on your face, and they will simply tell you exactly how to, how to set it up correctly, how to set up the IPD, so that everything is, is correct, and then you would go into a little tutorial, and that tutorial, it simply feels magic. They will teach you how to use the, the controllers and if you remembered, if you have the Oculus Rift before, you remember that first touch tutorial and that's something that's going on here too. It is not the, the Oculus Touch, it's not the first touch, it's not the same tutorial, it's a tutorial just made for this device and it's just as good. At one moment you are steering this uh, little I don't even know um, how to call that a blip, like like this little flying machine, and uh, you control it with your with your stick, and it's flying in space, <laughs> and it's just magical. Even for me, that I'm a, like a, a VR veteran, yeah. But for people who go into VR for the first time, I believe that this is going to be pure magic and just so polished. The polish is unbelievable. Yeah, then for another thing that you have to do here, you have to do the room setup so that you don't run into your wall of the place where you actually are, are using uh, this device. And 
I've also never seen a better way to do it before. First of all, you have pass through, right? So you have these cameras, and then in that moment when you have to set up your 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 room, you can see your room in your headset thanks to the cameras in 3D. That is nice. And then instead of like walking around the borders of your room, what you do, you you point like like a laser beam that comes out of your uh, controller to the to the room edges and you you paint your 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 room edges and set up your your guardian system and that just works just like a charm it is just so amazing so it, the setup is a breeze yeah that's everything that i wanted to talk about in this first video of that oculus quest launch countdown but now i really need your questions what do you want to know about the oculus quest now that i'm in that position to check everything out for you here in my vacation so please do let me know in the comment section below what do you want me to do with the device what do you want to know about the oculus quest and um, yeah please do let me know in the comment section down below so i can like um, answer your questions in these days like uh, going to launch on 21st of may i'm really looking forward to read your questions that's everything that i got if you enjoyed this first video of the series please give it a thumbs up and share this video with others of course and very important if you don't want to miss any of my oculus quest videos of my oculus quest content that's coming up and any of the other vr videos on this channel then why don't you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of them and that's everything i got for this video i'm looking forward to see you tomorrow when we talk about the next oculus quest topic and i'm very much looking forward to that see you then